Wednesday. Yo, bad mouth Wednesday. You know what? I don't even want to talk about bad mouth Wednesday. My people are not. You see, that's the kind of thing that we get fed in this country. Like, why are you guys disturbing yourselves about people that do not show you respect? I'm not even talking about showing themselves respect. You are a candidate for a political party and you're supposed to show up for an event, a debate, where you would have a platform to tell the people about what you want to do in their lives. This is why I constantly say, Nigeria, you are a sitcom. In all honesty, you need your own channel. Because how in the hell do we have two main candidates? Two main candidates are gone from the presidential debate. Fam, if you hear shit like that happen in the States or anywhere else, it's an uproar. But come, what the fuck? Where are you? For one, they've just wasted a perfect opportunity for them to come face Nigerians and to speak to the rest of the world about their plans if elected president. What do they plan to do with the country and how do they plan going about it? A perfect platform for them. Um, this could either mean that they weren't ready for the debate or they have nothing tangible to talk about. Buhari was gone and then Atiku said he's not going on stage because Buhari is not there. What what point are you trying to prove, man? Like, gee, you're supposed to be there so you could be like, you know what? The person who leads your country is not here, but look, I want to lead your country, so I'm here. So shame on the two of you. And y'all are old. I shouldn't be talking to you like this. It's ridiculous. You should know. You should know. But what he did over the weekend absolutely showed everybody that, um, you know, it's about, it's, it's still about himself. It's not about the Nigerian people. The office that you're expecting them to vote you in. And because one person is not showing up, you are saying one thing, two things, you know what I mean? Why are we even having this conversation? Why are people debating? Forget these people, the way they forget you. First off, we feel utterly disrespected. We feel like uh, these candidates have no empathy for the people they plan to govern. And um, a bulk of the blame, I would say, would have to go to the president because as a president of a nation or a country, you should be present. You should, sir, you should set a perfect example uh, for the rest of this. I don't think that you are important enough to be there, wait, debate with whoever it is on that panel and get their information across. That's the way you should forget them, forget them, leave them. This wouldn't be the first time that we've had such happening. In, in, if you check the precedents, over time we've had presidential candidates not showing up for debates as important as this. I, I just don't know where we're going with, you know, as a, as a democratic country, I don't know where we're going with this. Bad Mouth Wednesday.